Austin wants me to eat here. Cause that bitch ain't my chicken tender. <laughs> out there in video land. My name is Kiara Cartier-Fontaine and we are here at Bounce Union Station Video Cafe in Cleveland, Ohio with the one and only Latrice, motherfucking Royale. Everybody say hey. How you doing, Latrice? Hey, how are you? I am wonderful and it's so, it's such a pleasure to have you here in Cleveland with us. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad to be here. This crowd is amazing. Miss King, this crowd was you're right, bitch. It was amazing. Like, we had a phenomenal crowd, and they treated Latrice very, very well. We're just so honored to have her here with us. So what we're going to do, we're just going to ask you a few questions pertaining to what your plans are after RuPaul's Drag Race and how the show went for you. So tell us, what when did you decide to even audition for the show? Um, it was like, you know, I, I saw the post, you know, on Facebook that they were auditioning casting, and... I was sitting there at like a crossroads in my career, like I needed to do something major and I needed to happen fast. So I shot them an email and two days later, I got a phone call and baby, I started jumping through the hoops and here I am. Did you have to do a lot? Was, was there a, a, a huge process that you had to go through in order to be elected to be on the show? Um, there's quite a, quite a process. I mean, you, you, you do a lot of um, emails and Skypes and psychiatric evaluation because we got to make you yeah, girl I'm telling you and, I, and I'm wondering how some of them bitches pass and slip through the cracks that's still my question how these bitches slip through the cracks but um but yeah you go through a, it's a process but like it's so worth it it's so worth it um how did you feel when you got did you get a call when you were chosen for the show and how did that work yeah um I get a phone call and um you know, they schedule to make sure that, you know, because it's very hush-hush and you have to be very discreet and everything. So, you know, you have to be alone. And once they did that, we scheduled a Skype interview and I didn't know what it was pertaining to or what it was about. They thought they, they just told me I needed, they needed more information from me. And that's when they let me know that I had made it on the show. And I can't tell you the rush of emotions. That was, girl, I went like a crazy person. I was laughing, I was crying, I was going through it. but. It was so relieving to know that my life is changing for the better, finally. Awesome, awesome. Was it, um, how was your experience being on the show, actually? Um, it was amazing, girl. It's like, you know, I decided to let myself go and be an open book. You know, I have a lot of life experience, you know, good, bad, and different, but it's all experience. And I wanted to share that with people and let them know that it's okay to make mistakes, but, you know, it's about how you get up. And, you know, it's, it's, about persevering through your, your trials and tribulations and making sure that you remain positive and, and, and keep it going, keep it going. Don't ever give up on your dreams, and that's what I did. I think literally that, that, that makes sense because just even tonight, our, our line was out the door and down the street. It's not always like that, and I think it's because of the person that you were on the show that people embraced, because I even embraced it. I embraced it tremendously, and I literally requested to be in the show because I wanted to be in this show with you. Um, so how does that make you feel? Because because of your life experiences, um, how does that make you feel that people actually look up to you because of that? Um, this is amazing. It's like some overwhelming. Like today I was reading through some emails, and I have to take a break because I get really emotional because people are really, really invested in me. and. They have said that I have made a difference and a change in their lives and they're a better people. Um, they're a better person because of me and they're motivated. And I get letters from parents of children who are huge fans of mine and who, um, you know, may have been getting bullied at school, but now they embrace their Latrice attitude <laughs> and they're getting through it because they know that they're fierce. And, I, and that just gets me right there. And it's just so overwhelming because I just really was trying to be myself and for people to embrace me for who I am is beyond. So um, how has your career changed 
since being on the show? Well, girl, I am traveling. You know, they say be careful what you wish for because okay, you yeah. just might get it. Well, bitch, I am traveling for your nerves, and I couldn't be more thrilled. I mean, I'm exhausted, but, you know, the tired is like whatever. I can sleep when I'm dead, bitch. Let me get out here and meet and greet the people. And it is just amazing to meet all these people. And they're so invested and they're so passionate about the way they feel about me. That just inspires me to keep on keeping on. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I've followed you a little bit. And I know that you've competed at Miss Gay US of A at large before. Do you have any plans of returning to the national pageantry circuit after well, I'm not saying that this is going to die down, but, you know, this is your year. This is your year right now. And are you planning on getting back into pageantry after maybe your traveling schedule? You're, I don't know. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, yeah. but the idea of it is no. Because for me, um, and I love the pageantry system because that is where the queens truly come from. You know, that's what we all aspire to be is one of those national title holders who are traveling throughout the United States. But I've kind of surpassed that um, on the show. And for me, it would be a step backwards, but I still support the systems. And I don't plan on fading out. I am busy. Ha -ha! Did you catch up? <laughs> the shade of it all. She's not fading out. She's gonna be here forever, bitches. Hello, get it. We are so honored and excited to have you be a part of our family here in Cleveland and coming and joining us here in Cleveland at Bounce Union Station Video Cafe. Anything else that you want to say to our YouTube uh, internet audience right now? Uh, I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. I really have um, received your emails and all your messages and they're just beautiful. And just know that I may not respond to you all, but I do feel the love and I love you right back. Mwah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Latrice motherfucking Royale from RuPaul's Drag Race season four, all the way from Fort Lauderdale, Indi oh, I said Indiana, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, honey, it's Florida. Hunty, thank you all so much for joining us. We had an amazing, amazing time tonight in the show. So we'll uh, see you soon, okay? I'm Kiki, signing off, bitches. <laughs>